Hey guys, welcome back. So we weren't sure if we were going to get to do anything this fall, uh, but we happened to get a four-day weekend off, and Orlando has a direct flight on Spirit Airlines uh, from the Orlando airport to Guatemala City. It's about two and a half hour flight. Uh, like I said, uh, there might be some other airlines that, that have this flight, but Spirit uh, was by far the cheapest. So we grabbed some backpacks, and we did a short four-day weekend in Guatemala City. Uh, so we flew down, uh, customs was really easy, stayed in Guatemala City. Uh, there are a couple of different tours that you can do while you're there. The main two is you've got to get up to Antigua, which is like the history and the culture. Very beautiful city, vibrant, a lot of colors, a lot of experiences where you can try some of the local foods. Um, that's probably the, if you get one day, you want to go to Antigua. If you have two days, then you want to try to hike a volcano. Now, Guatemala City and Antigua, they're surrounded by volcanoes. I want to say maybe something like 27 just in that region alone. That's a very active area. Um, but look at the difficulty ratings on the volcano hikes. See which one suits you the best. Pacaya Volcano is the moderate one. It's not extremely active right now, so it's relatively safe to climb. You get to roast marshmallows once you get up to the top through some of the heat coming through the vents uh, in the crust. It's a really amazing hike, very beautiful. Uh, if you get a short weekend, you can go down to Central America, give Guatemala a shot. Antigua, Guatemala City, seeing the volcanoes, you can't go wrong with doing any of it. It's a great short getaway uh, if you get the opportunity. Please like and subscribe.